There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Is a mud Lieutenant Rakir at your service. As well as... Sorry, mate, Rom. <laughs> and, yeah, we were... We were planning on doing multiplayer today, but since uh, things fell through a bit last night and, well, two of the people for multiplayer aren't available, I thought might as well catch up on Eleanor then, and then the game just decides to have last-minute technical issues. But for some reason it crashed and reset the resolution, so I had to change that back around, and then Borderless Gaming didn't want to recognize the, new ver the newly adjusted version, so... <laughs> Just a, anyways, it's it's working at least, and yeah. Uh, last time we got started on the last of the desks for this game, arson, and well, things have already started going well <laughs> poorly, especially after <laughs> after Phelps got hung out to dry. Back to the jungle. I walk in Elysian Fields. Hang on. Yeah, yeah this one is more of a uh, paper jungle, you could say. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is... 650 North Hobart. I love how this guy just goes, just sort of goes. Yeah, I gotta see if it's if anybody did anything, whatever. Who gives a shit? Yeah, fires are rather uh, common though, so to a degree, it's <laughs> it's expectable. And well, they already did say that that heater, but that was the bit of, was a bit of the core of the previous ep not episode of the previous case. Uh, that a few of those tend to blow every month. Plus, well, it's the 50s, so uh, fire safety is a bit... eh? It's the 40s, but yeah. You're behind yeah, the wheel. Yeah, 40s, but... You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Forget I... I'm teasing you, Hirsch. Tell me about it. No housing developments come from weeks from... Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Oh, it's gonna have some very angry customers. As if they don't have enough trouble as is after the war. In the front garden to the right of the Morelli residence, which, yeah, it's the. It's pretty much where we are right now should be the newspaper and um, yeah wait wait look at the same board yep Can it's suburban redevelopment again degree. yep last case where they were putting people on the take with uh, certain things you guys better see this i hope you have strong stomachs yeah, and that goes for any everyone viewing as well because i remember this bit and uh yeah, <laughs> weak stomachs, look away. Because, well, we know what fire can do to a body. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture in the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt it. I think the fire of damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Especially not to, well, save, save people anyone. and instead pose them. 
Okay. Oh god, this reminds me of those things they found in Pompeii. Yeah. But that was more a volcano. Uh, so what yeah. did you say that, Rom? Now, yeah, all the dead guys they found, including some that were dying in incredibly amusing poses, like it was Fallout. Yeah. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Yeah. Yo, that was a natural disaster. This is a bit more disturbing since someone did this to them. What are they doing? Prayer effects from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Okay, because otherwise they would have been, they would have had to been dead for quite a while to, uh, for rigor mortis to kick in to keep them this upright. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> again, Pompeii was a natural disaster. And that was or where people know, got buried on their scorching ash. Yeah. But this, we see, he's a bit more disturbing. This world. How big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. But what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. Oh, yeah, the newspaper is right outside to the right side. Yeah. But as I was to say, in comparison to Pompeii, this, what we see here, this crime scene is more disturbing, I think. Yeah. Since someone did this. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and he won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. Okay. For years. <laughs> Sounds like Biggs has his own traumas with fire. Okay. I think I see it over there, newspaper. Yeah, that's too intact. Let's see. Housing development burns. ex serving irate as GI homes raised. Five more dead in North Hagden Boulevard blaze. Police chasing potential firebug. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now. Doctor, I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. 
I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me to find it. Oh, great. The idiot made a fire starter. Dwarf. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, that looks a bit like an explosion again. Uh. Okay, let's go talk to the neighbors. Oh, this is even more just... It's a... We have a potential religious fanatic. No comments. LAPD. Leave Can you tell me anything about the fire next things door? Things that happen. Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Okay. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You heard an explosion and you were asleep. I'm pretty sure that would wake you up. Also, doubt. Doubt? Yeah. For the excuse yeah. of it, about his expression. <laughs> That's a bit weird. It's also a bit of a weird way to state that. Like, we got woken up by an explosion would be more accurate. You didn't yeah. like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. This is starting to sound familiar, isn't it? You yeah, said someone is Mary. knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Yeah, you just said that they were being difficult. Yeah, no doubt. No. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Ruining it for all of you, how? Let's see. I'm guessing they were all planning on selling the houses. They make the money, the GIs get their home, so they just move to a different suburb that isn't gonna get bulldozed. So. Yeah, but I don't see how him holding out uh, is going to prevent this guy from being able to sell. Unless they did it as a sort of entire block thing, which I'd find a bit doubtful. It probably was the entire block. I mean, the last time was the entire block. True, but I don't see how they would buy it all in one go or so. So I, I really failed to see how the neighbor not selling would block this guy from selling. You said anyway. the Morellis I mean, had won think... a weekend away. Okay, yep. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Actually... Hmm. Actually, I don't think he would know who the fuck runs the competition because why would he be involved in the suburban thing? Yeah. yeah. And except for sure. that bit there, he is not showing much signs signs of lightning. It's not true for the moment. On air, it's for truthful. Uh, uh, true. You didn't enter yourself. I'd already agreed to sell. The competition yeah, was I... an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Yeah, what I was trying to say was that the others had agreed to sell, but they were trying to buy the whole block. So Morelli was still holding out on the house, so they couldn't really sell the house. Okay. Yeah, there's a fourth question. But I'm guessing... Yeah, it, did, it didn't pop up for some reason. I'm guessing there is something still for us to find around here. Right. It might be poor David. I'll try to make sure they all sold the houses for about the same sum or something. Yeah, maybe more the fa maybe more that they would only start uh, actually paying 
once they had certain, you know, once they knew for certain that they had all lots. Get the insta like heat the again. Model. And it's Reginald Varley. Great. Oh yeah, big fucking explosion this was. Warbly. That can be seen. That's at least three meters again, or so. Building in the 40s too. I think I heard many buildings all still built in the USA like this still today. Mm. And this is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Mm. That doesn't seem that. Okay, so it holds them a lot. Okay, it looks more like somebody dropped a grenade in there, a, like a bundle of grenades in there. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say, it looks a bundle, but one grenade will not do that. Oh, so that's a pretty thin floor, like you go through a few boards and you're in the freaking basements. Again, I think they still do that use it. Like, <laughs> what do we have in Europe and other countries? It's apparently luxury style in the USA. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, yeah, I guess that's one less thing we need to complain about. Yeah, many Americans are sort of notice and wonder what the heck is this about? But they pay... They pay extra... for this style of building. For no reason, many I really have started to realize. Yeah, there's a lot of things if in I Europe the that are considered right. luxury in America. Like, uh... Yeah. Uh, one of the things I can think of is with uh, garbage disposal. Like we have turn-in points for plastics and glass and such, and then just a, a car uh, or more a truck comes by and uses a pulley, you no, know, no, a hook to basically pull the entire fucking thing, even the underground part, up, uh, hung, hangs it over the, its back, and then through some mechanism it opens up uh, to dump it all in the back instead of uh, using something else. And uh, uh, well, some months ago, I think that actually appeared on Reddit as a a thing that a lot of Americans were just confused about, like, why the hell is this not standard? Yeah, the, uh, what I mean is... Because capitalism. Yeah, yeah. if it can be done so cheaper, they will do it. Yeah, from what I understand, when you compare most of the other countries' house building like in Europe and such to what they have in USA, the ones in USA is basically a cardboard box compared to ours. Yeah, I probably should cha uh, change that statement a little bit. If it can be done cheaper but less efficient, it will be done cheaper. Anyways. Oh dear. All a man can do is put in a prayer for the dead. We'll need to check about all I've got to say about it. Hey, that. I think we're still hmm. missing clues, so. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yep, there's still have. something yeah, missing. Yeah, let, let's spend one. I go grab myself a drink. Oh. Rum? Um, actually, I can't not say uh, make sure he don't die, but... Uh, oh, oh. Okay, I sure should have been pretty explode. obvious to me. Yeah, someone was watching. Yeah. Yep. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were on quite a while. Huh. Brand looks distinctive. You know, I was about to say, too bad there's nothing distinctive about these, but these are actually marked. I thought this guy rolled his own. Okay. Got anything new to say then? Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Wait, didn't you say that There's you that were quote unquote asleep earlier? Before everything? Also, again, doubt since, you know, you literally were outside. Yeah, this the swaying was already standard as we can see. It's just he is doing a lot more now. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. 
Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if um, you're interested, huh? I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Wait, weren't they for only the uh, holdouts? Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you No, I think they, like, mailed them to everybody, but... Japanese like, call if you've order. already sold, they're like, oh, look. that's sure. fine, whatever, this is redundant, or maybe it's an extra incentive. Mm -hmm. No holdouts yet. Paper cray. Like, There's a legend one extra them. incentive to you fold fully 1, move out. Of these and you get a wish. I feel mm -hmm. like I just went redundant. <laughs> okay, paper crane. Now, what is this made from? Hey, wish. Don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. Uh, of course. It. it looks like a waybill or a flyer. What? Let's see. Four Legion, Legion fields, fields, of course. Call 2800 Legion Field. Oh, and that smile looks. <laughs> that smile like looks like it develops in an video. analog horror. Yeah. <laughs> like that's just the face that jump scares you around the corner. Oh. I see you already have one. Do? Yes. No, it's only half a part of one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Yeah, so they're just rapid firing these things out? They want people out of their houses, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's definitely a link between uh, them and the, uh, the fires. The problem is that we can't have, well, we don't have anything so to actually prove there is a connection on. beyond, well, very, 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 uh, be big, right? be, very strong coincidence. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. Don't we already know a side the of theirs? The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, Operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Blades on the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Uh, of course. Kelty has warned us off over Elysian. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Okay, did the car just vanish okay. there? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> wait, wait, what no car? <laughs> now, I think the there was a blue car in the driveway over there. Wait, uh, you were saying, Ron? The way he just sounded was like really fucking sketchy. Yeah, and friends of the mayor and such. Yep. And there being an indirect line between, well, a bunch of people dying and a lot of fires when uh, he is, well, building stuff for, build, yeah, building stuff with government funds, which also explains why the hell they have a government uh, bonus, at least. You so know, there's like, definitely some interrupt. corruption going on the here. Go. Yeah, there's more to find here. Let me double check. I'm not seeing anything else for clues over here. Uh, you can drive. Let's... And where exactly are we going? Let's head on over here. If we want to go to this Leland character, we'll want to have some, well, all the evidence that we can get, even if there's only a little. 
shame about Jeff. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Well, it kicked him loose already. And hoping for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Yeah, that's the fire starter we picked up last time. But with him being in jail, or at least in custody, that would mean he can't have been behind this at all. Thank you all for that, Biggs. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch! Come back here. You're not getting on the uh. The rope. Wait, what are the others you need to fight? Because they're just fucking pissed because these people oh, all lost wait. their houses. Or the houses to oh, be. I see the harmony. Oh, good god. I just noticed there was not just one house here. Yeah, the entire area has been burned. Except the fence, but like, most of the fences survived. <laughs> Just magically pulled him back up to headbutt him. <laughs> Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Yeah, this. This can pop. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Siren Ivy. How are you doing today? Thank you for the raids. Okay, this time I didn't get jump scared. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello there for the Raiders. Uh, I'm Alien. Over there we have in order uh, Drakir and Rom. Hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, hey, hey, Pizza. And uh, yeah, we are. We would probably fall into the category of variety streamer, as in we stream a variety of games throughout the week, typically for a story, though sometimes also just for multiplayer shenanigans and such. Yeah, let's see. Pizza, Raid, how, how are you? Uh, doing well. And how are you two doing? Uh, let's see. Give me a second here. Oh, I'm doing well, uh, the Pizza. Smash. And so, the Siren Ivy. Let's see. And you were playing Sims 4 again. Okay, then uh, I think this is uh, something that is probably somewhat familiar, at least. <laughs> <laughs> because if I recall correctly, Sims have a habit of burning their own place down. <laughs> Always with a birthday, even. Okay, oh, happy right. birthday. Do... Yeah, happy birthday to you. Dude. <laughs> happy birthday to you, Siren. There we go. I Hell can speak. Yeah. I promise, I can speak. <laughs> And yeah, welcome to LA Noir, the arson desk. And uh, well, there is absolutely no way in hell that all of these houses went up in flames from just one fire. Like there is some scorch damage on over uh, on the over the bone yeah, the boundaries here and there, but uh, yeah. This is very obviously set alight by someone and just they were fucking busy with this place. <sighs> this feels like a mass burning. Let's see, I'm not even sure where to even start looking for clues around all of this. Uh, let's see, pizza. Yeah, she was doing it last time. Red Dead Redemption 2 first, and then uh, Sims 4. Okay. Uh, let's just keep running around until we hear the... <laughs> The investigation into music start up. I think kind of walking away from the house. He has nothing to say. Yeah. Why do we get the feeling that oops, why oh, do we get the is. feeling that all of these had insta heat models? Because those have been about as explosive as hand grenades. Look, the foundation of the house. That is. Okay, okay. there is definitely something missing here, huh? Yeah, you know, the uh... mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? Pretty much. You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. 
as cheap as cheap can go. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Okay, I think I can see what's going on then here. Build these things up for as cheap as absolutely possible, and then burn it all down before people figure out that it's absolute crap, and just run away with uh, the money you've already been paid, and probably an insurance claim as well. Just um, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. multiply Sorry. that by about 30. Yep. Just make matchstick houses and burn them all down. Yeah. Let's see. Pizza. Fire does not spread like that. It would have. Uh, you know, like that. It would have, uh, have to be connected with something. So, most likely, a flammable substance you know, connected to fires. And yeah, it was I who brought the writers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Drive. I need to go over the case notes. We ah. can still go over there for Where some reason. Hmm. And typically these get marked off once we found everything, but I don't see, I didn't get to see anything. Let's go just back to double check to see if there's any clues we've missed. Reading you from Los Angeles, but, yeah. California. KTI um, Radio. Hmm? Okay, I thought it was actually piping up for something important. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing uh, Siren had to go because it's late over there for them or something. Well, I, I think I got an idea. Check the okay, check the boot print, check the cigarettes again, but then check the boot prints next to them. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. I swear this town is going straight. To uh, yeah, okay, I that's why. Wearing boondockers, I would know that imprint anywhere. Okay. That should be everything, then. That's not uh, a check. <laughs> so what's going on over there? Pizza. Uh, I cannot take everything seriously when it looks like there was a hat put on Rikia's head and he's trying to grab the hat. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to grab I'm trying to see. Right. Is there <laughs> room still <laughs> next to me? Maybe. I... Okay. Anyways, to Anyways, to destroy our careers at Legion Fields. And not like Phelps have any lefts. True. And Big was already in our sense, so it's not like he was gonna go up anywhere. <laughs> now the only way for our careers is to go up in flames. Which, we, which you know, it's our sense, so that'd be fitting. Yep. <laughs> Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Oh, deuce discs. Thanks, ma'am. Now let's see, pizza. Uh, uh, no, she had to go because yeah, her dogs were starting to act up. Okay. Yep. I wonder how but many secretary... more we gotta go through to get to this guy. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Yeah, let's see. Pizza, she had to go because the dogs were acting up and she had to go urgently. But how are you guys doing? Doing pretty well, I'd say. But don't you need a word? Make a cigar. Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Big. Uh, if, we were to in, if we were to search the place, then we'd need a warrant. Right, right. For asking Look. questions, no. Okay, just a model, a model of model his of... little, f yeah, of the place that burned right. down. Yeah. Let's see, that's four, eight. Oh, that was about right. 32, <laughs> 30, you know, 32 houses then. Uh, 16, uh, yeah, eight, 16, 30, yeah, 30, 32 uh, houses. I almost had it. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Wait. Pause, pause. I know that actor. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> And a voice. 
<laughs> so do I. I've seen him in French. I, yes, that's the one. He's been in others as well, but Fringe is the one I come up, up to my... What is the actor's name? <laughs> Not a clue. Uh, let's see, Pizza is asking, I need me a lawyer and detective to break down the scenes from Elaine Ward. <laughs> uh, you could maybe ask Legal Eagle to. <laughs> but for now... Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Waybill. Also, I can't tell if his eyes are open or not. Not even trying to insult or anything, it's... Yeah, it... he's, just, he's just squinting that hard. Yeah, as it, at this moment, I, I know he's supposed to look like an actor and all that. Problem is, through to the deed to his eyes, he almost looked like Walter for Yes Dumbham. <laughs> okay, what's the verdict on uh, if he's being truthful or not? The question again. Let's see. It, 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 okay, oh, there it was is. that scroll down. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, Elysian linked to arsons because yeah, they, we know some shit is up with this because some pe people kept getting their house burned down after winning a a, a, a quote unquote contest. And yeah, we know Elysian Fields and the Suburban Redevelopment the Redevelopment Fund are just one and the same. Yeah, but, okay, so the thing is, we don't really have evidence linking them, but we are doubting everything he says. Yeah. Look here. Hmm. I'm a uh, doubt, but we don't have any evidence. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? Also, housing for just 10,000. <laughs> in, uh, in today's day and age, that's literally a steal because there was a house near where I am. And it was like half a fucking million to get it, if you were interested. The 40s, the 40s. Yeah, but still, it just tells you how fucking hard inflation hits. So you uh, know capitalism in America. True. And let's see, Pizza, was there any disturbing images, videos, or messages sent to your Discord server from my account? As my Discord account got ha had gotten hacked and the hacker had left some servers and sent some disturbing images, uh, things in servers. So I just wanted to make sure. Now, you're, you're actually... Speed this you, up a little? You were actually inactive for a bit on the server, I think. So I don't think that uh, any of that happens. And if any of that happened over DMs with people, I, n I didn't get to hear any of that. Yeah, let's see. That's why I had the profile picture change. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, it's always shit when that happens, and always good to well, double up your security afterwards. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, so, I'm you're the face of this one, dipshit. That's a lie. We literally have you... On the face of the flyer. Hey. Yeah, they are live. We have. Yeah, he's on the poster. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. And when someone says something like that, it's basically as good as a confession <laughs> that they know yeah, that they did it. You just, well, can't prove it. Uh, Elysian Field Flyers. Yeah, that. Yeah. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. 
My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Oh, well, that's a nice little pick. bit of info. Anyway. Threw them under the buffs. Eyes blue. How do you know that? The microscope. Really that. good vision, apparently. Phelps eats his carrots. This guy, this guy just looks like a, a, a like a 1940s uh, Chinese caricature. <laughs> the face scanning tag really did this guy dirty. Yeah. And offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes? So that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Yeah, ways Ooh. around them like murder. You know, you know what they say, doubt. Doubt. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Right. May really not making himself sympathetic in any way, huh? No, he is not. So anyways, about those matchstick houses. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Yeah, that's more we, bullshit we, than an entire ranch. <laughs> yeah, we've seen the bricks, dipshit. You've managed to actually fail at the concept of mortar. So, lie. Yeah. It's lie. a lie. Oh. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Yeah, Do you think is... they were all burnt away? Sadly, no. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. I'm fairly certain those you still want that budget to be and fully insured by California fire stable. And life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think the Fed vouch for the buildings without examining them? You literally Your just said. Uh, you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. <laughs> My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Uh, that is so obviously a threat. Let also, he, help, he just admit he earlier admitted that both the mayor and the chief of police are part of the suburban rede re yeah, redevelopment funds. So uh, it'd be very, very easy for the mayor to put some pressure on the services to uh, quote unquote approve the housing. Or at least story? falsify it. Any of these names ring a bell? Let's see. Chapman. Wait. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. But he was supposed to be in custody. Show him out. The boss is a fine man. Yeah. Didn't expect that we could actually open this. You brought in that case for that poor lady killed near City Hall. His 
<laughs> Don't mind me. Hi, sorry, need a phone. Give me R and I. For me. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn, who was? I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. <clears throat> Thanks. Great, so... Well, I Wait. love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. So he goes to the club where he's been accused of sleeping with <laughs> the singer because at this point his reputation is fucked, so he might as well roll with it. Hey, my. Buy me a drink, Cole. Mm -hmm. You're right. No. Not even for old times' sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here. I wouldn't get the really. pleasure. We'll get around to it. Something quite other. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel about the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Right. Things have despite. Uh, he drank from invisible glass. Stay away from Elysian fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Yeah, could we just burn that fucker? Get the message Call it an accident. Open. Yeah, Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save him, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling the car 11K. 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. Okay. You thought it sugar loaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our One paths second. cross from time One. to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Okay, uh, are we getting? Are we going to get a marker for this? It's, it's Rancho, Elysian, the fire. Oh, okay. Motherfucker lives close to the Morellis. Okay. It doesn't say that he is responsible, but it says that it'd be easy for him to just walk over. So that would be opportunity. Okay. Let's just over, head over as quick as we can. I think I, I think I accidentally combined head and over into one word there. Wait, what? Sorry, I zoomed out there a bit. <laughs> Now, I, I think I said let's head, uh, let Hover uh, something. Accidentally combining head over and, uh, into one word. 
over. Okay, like like hover, but putting this emphasis elsewhere. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's just head over to our fire lover's place. Oh dear. And yeah, w when you are doing investigation and people are starting making threats, that means you're shaking the r the right tree, and they don't want the tree shaken. Okay, just break some <laughs> some road laws as we head on over. It's not like our career has much chance of surviving this, anyways. <laughs> Damn it! Where's your respect for property? Uh, still, these things just break like uh, aircraft carriers. <laughs> Okay, that boy, that guy was trying to run into me there. There's more that guy's face. <laughs> okay, that car is based through, uh, yeah, based through someone crossing the road. So I'm going to need to look up that uh, teleportation again. <laughs> that teleportation noise. Okay. Just a lot of things are going wacky in LA today, it seems. You? Okay. And as nice as the reconstruction of 40s LA is, I still would have preferred if we actually probably could have. Yeah, we probably could have fast traveled over by just stepping out and letting uh, Herschel take the wheel. How close are we? Close enough. Okay. Just one more turn. Okay. Oh, that's why. Shouldn't the, shouldn't the tram have gone first than that? Oh, well. It's <laughs> running over to his spot. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. There's some Let's kind of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Well, uh, might as well take a look then. Let's see what he's hauling around. Yeah, of course. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. And just a fuck ton of these flyers. Read about the Haroldson case in the paper. That's the cop who solved it. Poor kid. Definitely gives him opportunity. Yeah, there's a link between him. And a lesion, so he could. Well, we didn't get the right guy last time, but we could have our firebug this time then. Oh, and he's armed and dangerous. Great. Survive the APB. He's clearly armed. Yeah, forty-five Magnum or forty-five revolver or something. Hold it, cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit! He's seen us. Cops! Again! Oh, great. Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Call this in, get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. So. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and um. driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. The suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar headed eastbound. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Get a stay on code 3. 
his asshole. Don't lose him. Uh, there's not much that this idiot can flee to with this, though, since, well, it's kind of quite literally on rails. So... Yeah, I think we, we can definitely blame all of this on the damage onto him today. Uh, fire dude, you want to come after this, maybe? Because uh, there's electricity going around with this. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Okay, but if this thing crashes into something, you're running the obituary. Well, that damaged it somewhat, even if it was on the Defender. <laughs> you, want me to take this shot or not? You, you told me to drive into him. He, he tries to shoot the so wheels. Did he? End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Yep. <laughs> we finish him off with a bullet in the dick. Like we man, Cole. No, well done, what, what's in the... Sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Okay. Well, that's probably going to bury this case. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? We'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> uh, um, uh, oh. I don't think we need to comment on that one. <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. He worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Well, that's both unfortunate and fortunate for us. And I'm guessing Lou was one of the musicians or something? Or someone? <laughs> okay, quite a bit. Okay, Phelps is going to need to work a few more cases to pay that off. And this time was from Hill Driving. Here's the good old Hill Driving skills back again. Put him over this. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Elysian Fields to the grave. Ah, shit, I missed the finale. Yeah. <laughs> you were away? Back. Yes, I said I was getting lunch. <laughs> We didn't hear that! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I, I was just about to think, you've been oddly quiet for this. Same! Uh, something else your mic didn't pick up then. Yeah. 
Noble. The guy's name is John Noble. The guy who plays uh, Leland Monroe. Okay. Oh, Doesn't ring any bells for me. But, yeah, just... Why the fuck did Chapman just pull out a gun and immediately turn to violence? Like, he could have at least talked to us, but then again, he, he was probably expecting that they'd arrest him or something, even though we... Well, we had evidence, possible evidence on him. You know, so... Okay, remembering this case, what I want to know is, does this count as kidnapping? Because he hijacked a, tra a tram... A fucking tram. Uh, it'd be closer to a hostage taking, which I guess could include kidnapping. Hmm. Possibly. But yes. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry for missing you out on that. Uh, let's move on so you won't miss the rest. House of Stick. I miss Red Hat. Has no. <laughs> what? one has no uh, newspaper on it. Okay. And what did you read it as? House of Dicks? No. Uh, House of Socks. Socks Yeah, socks. You know, the thing you wear on your feet. Excuse me. I'm, I'm eating lunch. Okay. Uh, Elsa Lickman, Sunset Boulevard. Do you miss uh, Lickman? Here, Liefman, pertaining to the matter of policy number this and that, and the sudden death of Mr. Louise uh, Jan Buck uh, Walter. Okay, that's. Buck okay, Walter. So at least. Okay, Buck Walter. Uh, I'm writing to inform you that you have been named as a sole beneficiary of Mr. Uh, Buck uh, Walter's estate. Please find that has the settlement check for 20000 the maximum payable amount in accordance with Clause 4A of the Life Care, Disability and Accidental Death Policy, uh, which Mr. Buck Walter held. If you wish to dispute this settlement, you may contact our account management office by return mail or by phone during office hours. With condolences, Clarence Fleming, claims assessor, yeah, and the There's check. No to to the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay, let me get the case file. Yeah. A twenty thousand return on a two hundred dollar policy that is too generous to be not suspicious. Yep. Okay. And you play as him now. Yep. yep. And Legion Fields, of course, with the approval got sign. More in these files. I right, checking the latitude and longitude. And also... Okay, we have an address of sorts. Uh, it was killed when the roof you know, on the property on which he was working collapsed. And, oh, yeah, we know that they were made of absolute crap, so that would make it no big, mis no big surprise that the roof caved in. <laughs> and hello there, yeah. Tatum. <laughs> hello there, Tatum. Hey, Tatum. Hey, Tatum. Hey, Tater. How's it going? We're being detectives. Yep. In arson. And you've... You've you've probably missed the worst parts, or the most... Uh, uh, switch on friendly parts already. Uh, let's see. Where the heck do we even need to look? Or is... Hang on. One second. What report. did... What, I what know this it. Tater... What does uh, Tatum say? Let's see. Been lurking the whole time. That's <laughs> little potato. I'm gonna write it. But what if I say little potato? <laughs> I, I didn't see that the, until now. For I just called him uh, Tatum this time. <laughs> Dodge a bullet then. By coincidence. Uh, okay, we can turn I... this around. <laughs> uh, uh, let's well, see. It was nice knowing you, Rom. <laughs> oh shit. Oh well, I lived a good life. 
Uh, let's see. On Tuesday, 28th January, at about 3, 8, yeah, 8 30 in the morning, uh, was ascending the roof structure of a property uh, when a fault in the rim beam caused it to sag. Witnesses report that he slipped and attempted to right himself by holding onto a ceiling rafter, but the rafter broke as well. Uh, fell approximately 23 feet to the ground. That's about 8 meters or so, I think. Uh, his falling weight caused several ceiling uh, joists to snap, and these uh, fell inward along with a part of the prefabricated roof tile. So just everything broke, and then he broke. An autopsy letter revealed that his cranium was shattered, probably when it struck his head on one of the roof beams. He sustained significant internal injuries as a result of the fallen timber, and died of internal hemorrhage approximately 10 minutes after the initial roof collapse. So he just bled out on the spot. Independent testing of the beam. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were going to say? I was saying, and they. And no one questions this, since it, if all that breaks so easily, then what, how would it even survive any. Host of the, any bad weather, you know, the extreme bad weather? You, you, you could probably fart that in and it fall over. Yeah, you can in that manner, if you like. Yeah. Also, Tatum, put the gun down. <laughs> <laughs> Independent testing of the rim beam and roof cross have determined that faults in the timber were undetected prior to installation. Witnesses report that he was following all safety procedures. It is the opinion of this investigator that the death of John Buckwalter constitutes a genuine and unavoidable industrial accident and no fault can be ascribed to a legion fields development? Uh, bullshit. <clears throat> so yeah, that, that's why they <laughs> that's why they threw so much money at the settlement. They don't want this what to be investigated. Hold on, um, something happened there. Hmm? You turned mute for a few seconds on my end. Okay. It's another time for me to investigate then. Let's see, 112. That, that, yeah, that's I been happening you. that's been happening a lot more with Discord recently for some reason, though it hasn't it hasn't been noticeable on the recordings. Yeah. Huh. If it's the only Discord like that's fine. This one is I'm sorry for your loss. But is it more annoying if it actually goes to the recording? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. And check, check, just... Apparently Kelso also has the same ability that Cole does to write down and draw people that good. Just, uh, he, he just pulls that JoJo shit, the wall do, and in a, <laughs> while he freezes time, he sketches them out, and probably picks their pockets as well. Uh. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Doubtful. True. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, was it the uh, truth? Hang on. Let's see her eyes. Yeah, looking there away. Avoiding contacts and uh, moving about a bit. But we probably could have taken it. We probably should have taken a look at her before asking the question to get a baseline. So yeah, what will it be? Or or will oh, one of you change? Well, if she actually on, I said doubt. Yeah, but since the, this is the first time that you two say something you different. You might have something on your mind, Mr. Carlson. I, I say truth, but she is looking at him at the moment. Yeah, in this case, it is actually doubt. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. Okay, what is your connection to him? You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were 
family friends. Doubt. I'm my doubts because you somehow uh, became the beneficiary of a guy who just died. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. Okay, so basically... Uh... Yeah, America was definitely, America just likes to shout freedom and everything and all that, but during World War II, uh, they had their own internment camps for, well, German people who were living in America and Japanese. Yeah, and they've refused to mention it most of the time. You have to dig through to learn about it. Yeah. The only... And the, oh. Disturbingly enough, the only upside is that there was no thing. Is that as far as I'm aware, they didn't do things like what happened in both Germany and Japan. Yeah. With all the experiments. Yeah. Uh, they didn't we'll get them credit for that. Line. You might have something on your mind, Mr. Carlson. Yeah. Next question. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Yeah, you, you read in the file itself, Kel, so that the word was bullshit. And just everything and everything along the way broke. So if that doesn't sound suspicious, plus, like I said earlier, yeah. just a massive payout. Yeah, she's yeah. Point. All she wants is to know, you know, the building collapsing so hard. Yeah. So, yeah. It's something's fishy. So, what's the verdict on this one? Truth. Truth. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Is, is he hitting on her? Here. Between the both of them, Cole is a cop. Kelso is more the regular noir detective stereotype. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Okay. Life concern surrender rate at an all time low. Okay. Side fighter, we're, we're leaving the hat behind, it seems. Wait, you forgot something. Hmm? You a coming? piece of paper kills. Hang on. The piece of paper okay. is left. Yeah. I'll be in touch. Okay. Oh, we can actually knock some of this stuff around. Okay. I thought uh -oh. all of it was just static <laughs> decor. Uh, also, it just seems that every man that uh, Elsa comes into contact with just wants to watch her ass, huh? Okay, and the violinist is having fun. Or is that more of the big ones? Bass ones? I, 
Whatever. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed... I'm Elsa sucking Benton at it, it seems. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. When they swap between flattery and threats, you know they're squirming for something. <clears throat> yep. God. Freaking microphones. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. Okay. Since we don't have a driver of our own, uh, we'll just have to fast travel ourselves there. <laughs> no excuse for checking over the notes. Wait, did we just skip? Yeah, we, he also has the magical ability to fast travel himself. And yeah, this place is still a shithole. Okay. Nobody's here, so let's just waltz in and take a look. Let's see. Mm hmm. Portland cement. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Uh, let's see. Two tons of cement, eight tons of building sand, and a fourth inch or fourth foot. I, I, I forget always which. I, I think one of the dots is feet, two is. A, a... <laughs> Hang on. I think I got an idea. Four quarter graded aggregate. Yeah, yeah, probably that. And okay, I don't, I don't know how to make cement, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a good amount of it, and not like only a fifth, even less than that. So yeah, someone's making bullshit cement. Okay, though of course they could claim that it's just uh, that they were low on cement, or that they had enough of cement and were just low on the others. Uh, let's see, order of demolition. Uh, City of Los Angeles pursuant to section 190 blah, 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 of the California Building Code hereby orders that any building work at the Normandy Avenue subdivision associated with the incident of that immediate, be immediately demolished and all building materials removed from the site. Bulldozing and starting again. Okay. It's to be expected. All, all this, that shit borne down. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can file that under an official statement. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's another. No, that. Okay, that that's okay. So that's the Rancho place. So okay, I was off with the thirty-two on that. That's still quite a lot of houses there. Also, the L.A. freeway. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> pizzas is going to lurk. Anything else around here? That's obvious. Let's see. 
all primary construction completed by November. No compromises, no exp exceptions. Uh, of course. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And Are you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Uh, and of course, they have a hooligan on guards. Yeah. Oh, maybe one day you're gonna be able to get into a fist fight without losing your hat. Yeah, maybe. I but, came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down to the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Yeah, another Forget word and we can make you smart in a, <laughs> a completely different way. Don't forget your hat behind and you. Look. There. Yoink. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think we can see which of the houses it was. Well, that was easy. Also, totally not suspicious that just because someone fell off the roof, they, they bulldozed the entire place. It would be really funny. The place falls down and then they bulldoze. Fell gives here? and that took down the entire building. <laughs> Which would just well, raise even more questions. Uh, Not for construction use. Really? Oh. Come on, need to get the fine ang the right angle apparently. You need upside down. Come on, Kel, so he won't turn it any other way. <laughs> Come on, Kelso, you're smart enough to read upside down. Two. Hang on. Yeah, look at the... Not that one. Forward. Look at there. Let's try to piece this together. I don't really think there's much need for that. That's not right. Keystone, not for construction, or wait, really? Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? They're, they're literally who... building prop houses, literally propping them up. Oh shit! It's the good. Run! Something, something, he tried to kill me with a forklift, but it's a bulldozer. He tried to... Hang on, got you. I got it. He tried to kill me with a bulldozer and run faster. He... <laughs> well, okay. Oh, dear. I mean... Turn around and shoot him if you get the chance. Yeah, it did give the option for that, but I think it would take him a few moments to turn around and start shooting. Me? <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, it seems to lock, I mean, it seems to lock onto the guy, so... You yeah. Need to get a, a line of sights. Further. Yeah. Uh, so honestly, you're just immediately jumping to attempted murder. Yeah, I feel like with him surviving that, it will just put more strain. Just when I thought we were starting to get on. Did I manage to actually hot shot him or something there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, now you're gonna make a call to figure out where the hell Keystone Films is. It, the, oh. oh, come on, that's not even dusting it with cement. Like, at some point, you're gonna wonder if they just put on mold on it and said, Fuck it, good enough! 
Yeah, so all of these places are just one bath fart away from collapsing. Yeah, it's a good thing that Kel <laughs> that Phelps isn't around to bulldoze through these with on another car chase. I was pretty sure Kels was not allowed to use these. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Okay, then. If, if you're working on this and you just see lumber that literally says not for not for construction uh yeah i'm pretty sure that makes you uh, pretty complicit when the place is actually just collapsing on themselves and again seeing as we just <laughs> we just killed some muscle they probably got some muscle keeping the workers in check as well the Keystone film. Oh, come on. Hi, Mac. I'm betting the I lumber's already rotted away. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nicks. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Oh, uh, great. So, a failed movie company with lumber just lying out in the open to be rained on and rotted. Oh, just to make matchstick houses for a, an entire... What does this count as? What kind of scam does this count as? Fraud. Well, okay, fraud, yeah, but I was thinking... Not just... Not just a fraud. I think this goes on a very high level of a uh, for yay for quite a long time yeah and um yeah. Yeah. well rewind rewind we're we got the tape that implicates everyone involved in this plot okay go up fix it fix it Okay, there, 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 okay, a little bit more to the right, there we go. Okay, now go down. How the hell did the whole Elsa story got out so quickly? Such exalt. Come, you're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Can I throw him up fast? Okay, I swear to God, that guy, that bald Russia guy on the suit, looks like Creed from the opera. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, him, him. I swear to God, he looks like three. Service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. So... Only not, only did he, not only yeah. did these idiots bring a film crew to their illicit meeting, they also had someone fucking edit it. <laughs> also, we still have evidence to grab, because uh, there was a film canister. Yeah, and also... Oh, those are Shane's! No, 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 Oh, oh wait, no. First, that's, uh, that's, no. Uh, that's a lamp that fell down. down. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lamp. Also, exalted. Come, you are making quite a name for yourself, doctor, amongst the thespians. On the screening room. I found that those of autistic temperament. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to grab the film canister and then the film. Fuck it, we're missing one key. Good. We can check the rest on the outside. Okay. So let's just let that uh, uh, run for anyone to pass by and hear. If I remember correctly, it should be a bunch of lumber when you come in. Probably around the side here. Horsey for Tatum. <laughs> no, this one's uh, behavior will be a bit wooden. I mean, Tatum already makes her horse. God damn it! No, sorry, sorry, sorry. There it is. <laughs> Hello. So this is where their lumber comes from. I was gonna Great. say Tatum already makes their horses fly in Red Dead. There's also <laughs> another one. You have to check the key. Notice how there's the label for Keystone Films. Uh, yeah, inferior See, quality. It's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Yeah. I get it if it's done as a around. problem. I wonder what's left in the buildings. Okay, maybe we can check the film canister. Yeah. And yeah with this poor quality wood it is actually fully possible that the entire house just collapsed in when uh, elsa's friends fell through okay there there no, no, on the table on the table the yeah, there the and what does it say it says the vervid redevelopment <laughs> these guys have taped themselves guilty and i barely got it edited yeah, they literally have the. They're literally talking about how they are going to uh, misappropriate government funds for all of this. And they okay, have it recorded. Also, uh, Tatum, sorry. Uh, slip of the tongue. Operator, think you could put me through to police dispatch? Thanks. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Mm. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. 
I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kerso. Thank you. Then we fade away immediately. Like, pretty, pretty sure there was a <laughs> another newspaper to the left of us there. No, there's no newspapers in this case. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> Did they really think they could get him to back off? I don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty. And for the artist's entrance, I'm guessing. Because, well, we know that Cole and Kelso, uh, they don't get along at the absolute slightest. Oh dear. I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. I'm pretty sure he might have even still been in earshot of that. Not only that, but now they're decided to bone in the alley. <laughs> and this just, and Kelsa just feels really awkward right now, so he's just gonna go ahead and continue the case. Yeah. Yeah, okay, because he basically has had it fully confirmed that, yeah, this whole thing is just one big case of fraud. Uh. Insurance fraud as well. Yeah. Oh dear. Weren't we just here? Yeah, this is the this is another site, according to our notebook. Matchstick houses and something suspicious going on in one of the lots. The investigator just get a flashlight designated as part of their kit. <laughs> that would help. This looks extremely flimsy. Really? Yeah. Plywood. Yep, plywood. All to be pretending to be brick. Yeah. And concrete and mortar. And really anything that would build a house in the fifth in the forties to fifties. Little something back. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. <laughs> really think you can outmuscle a marine? Yep. Okay, apparently they can lay out a marine. <laughs> 
Well, to be fair, there's like guy. three of them. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Give him a whoop. <laughs> Imagine waking up with your jaw hurting and a bloody nose is not exactly the good, the best way to wake up, especially inside the trunk of a car. Yeah. And we're back at the site, at the first site, it seems. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> Most generic stock door opening noise there is. <clears throat> Sorry, to be fair, it's slightly less generic than hype hitting the ground dot ps dot mp3. <laughs> Wait, hang on. We did lock the trunk, right? Apparently not. Elsa. And apparently these guys are terrible shots. Uh, I need to talk. Okay, if, if you're if you're both what the hell? Sorry, Kyle. Desperate times. Uh, okay, I, I thought he left his car because he heard gunshots, not because he Control apparently really car. wanted fucking fruits. They can crash, not you! <laughs> Like a reverse of the crap of the cars, the cases. There, there. I'm in a rush. Yeah, he's out of his car, oh, so he's wasting time. All of them are out of the car, judging by the map. Bye, bye, morons. <laughs> Try and keep up now. Okay, they think themselves really crack shots, apparently, if they're trying to shoot through buildings. Uh, uh, yeah, the corruption from this goes all the way from the top to the bottom. Uh, okay. Where? Possibly the best turn I've had in this game entirely at this speed. <laughs> I mean, you haven't. Con I mean, you haven't destroyed the streets of LA yet. Yeah, yet. Okay, but, but we. <laughs> I thought that guy was jumping out of his car because he heard the gunshots. <laughs> I, I really think he was just standing at a fruit stand or something there. And so he arrives oh, at Elsa's place. Beat up and bleeding. Uh, I'm guessing they took his gun because uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure if... He when he, when he finds out uh, Phelps is behind this, he would have shot him on the spot. This is for you, ma'am. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. You think it's a good idea, cause, uh...
if the mayor and all know about this, then actually they would have no real need to have the medical line in on the take on this as well. And only seven dollars uh, of damage. <laughs> hey, Wait, hold on. Then from record breaking for this series in damages <laughs> to a minimum. Once, so suddenly you go to the minimum, well, almost minimum, at least when it counts as you're paying for something. Was, hey, what the heck? Yeah, I, I, I guess, Phil, I guess uh, Phelps' driving skills are pretty inferior to Kelso's. <laughs> you the yeah. one driving. The Don't truth is lay out. this blame on them. The truth is out on Lizzie in the fields, despite Leland Moreau's best efforts to bury it. And I'm pretty sure those goons are going to get buried next. Grounded literally. For failing. I'm on it. Back in Akinawa. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. Once you get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons compass. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us. To be the sir, I want in the Marines or sir, teams to clean in the battlefield. Pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up. First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Yeah, I'm right into a firing line. Where's he going? Where's who going? Uh, the... the big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. You did, dipshit. You, you would have thought he would stop once the, he would hit a gunfire. A polite invitation. And yes, this one does have a newspaper. Okay. But it's actually at the end of it. So at least we can't really miss it. Oh, Miss Lichtman, how long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arikeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. Sit. He knew too much. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Yeah, he he would know that the entire thing was bullshit. And who the fuck are you? Are you Kelso? 
Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? <laughs> okay, now this is a nice twist. So others have noticed something with the higher ups not being what they are, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he was in the dark on that, I'm pretty sure. He was just trying to get the vice squads in jail because yeah. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might because be of matter of matter corruption, but since we are deal since we're an arson, you kinda have to, you know, deal with Monroe and his bullshit. Yeah. We just have a, a bigger car for him to chase than just Vice running the drugs. Okay. We don't have enough time to finish this case, but we can at least go in a decent amount. And I'm pretty sure we should be able to finish things off next week then. Or rather more this Sunday if, uh, we, if we manage to get together another stream for that. Hopefully. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, things are speeding up. Wait, isn't this the uh, the guy we called? Yeah, it's our old boss because we now work for the DA. Yep. Okay, which means we can wave our dick around without him being able to do a thing against us. Keep your uh, pants on, Captain, please. <laughs> uh, Remember me? Jack, it's good to see you. <laughs> You've caught me at a slightly Same. inopportune Stop. moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Yeah, no. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Hey, he is just utterly confused. <laughs> I don't know, he's never been punched before. Uh, yeah. Okay, in opportunity we in that way. You, princess. 16. Mister? That doesn't make it better. How old are you really? Nearly 13. That actually makes it worse. Okay, time to cap his, to <laughs> tear his balls off. As you get old. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. So I find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains Wait. to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? We skipped something. Get dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. 
He's kind. He buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. For God's sake, just get out and you sit down. She will only come back. Not only if you're alive to come back to. Oh, he has... Anyways, we still have a bunch of shit to find because I'm fairly certain we skipped a bunch of stuff. Wrong? Can you give me one of your biggest cannons? I have a new target practice. Sure, why not? Yes. <laughs> oh, right, of course there's two wine glasses. Why the fuck not? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you don't and put the olives in them unless there's something it. alcoholic in them. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Another reason to execute you on the spots? Because I'm pretty sure we can this count. You know, we could count this as being caught in the middle of a uh, in the middle of a rape. Because age of consent literally means not able to consent. So yeah. And let's not forget the manipulation level. There was clear at work here. Yeah. Yes. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Also, this is what? The you know, third fourth pedophile we've ran into in this game? Yep. And likely not even the freaking last. Mm, hello. Oh, uh, hey. Oh. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. Let's see. Curtis R. Benson. 2000. Certificates of shares. Okay. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? The fact that you're linked to the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Again. Yeah. Let's see. This looks important as well. Nice. Uh, I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. Uh, okay. Uh, premium of 1105 to be paid per annum ensures lesion. Shut up before I put another round you in your ass. You or, or spare. <laughs> uh, against all loss or damage occurring uh, to Rancho Escanandio, in the amount deal. not exceeding $221,000. Yeah. Be build it up cheap, then burn it down for the insurance money. Okay, is that all? What exactly? That is all. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Pedophile, let's talk. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Right. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Yeah. Do dear boy us, you! Sorry, I almost get the angry, actually. Anyways, lie. Lie. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you the, accuse me of benefiting the, the head of the company? one from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, dipshit. You literally have shares in the company that is getting paid out for frauds. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles yeah. will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. If, I don't, if, if you don't give me even more reason to kill you on the spot here and now. Tell me about the Suburban sure. Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. 
Lie. Lying. They're You're lying, lies. Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? That's the ins It's literally here. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Yeah, unless, of course, you're building it cheap and insuring it high. Which is the typical insurance scam. Buy something for you know, buy something for a buck, insure it for ten, break it, and you have a, a, a profit of nine. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Doubt. Madden. Doubt. Doubt. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Sadly, we can't just pull out our gun and shoot him on the spot. Or at least wound him, perhaps. But yeah, we've hit the stream timer though, so we will have to call it. And yeah, continue next weekend. So hopefully that was a checkpoint over there. Actually, first let's go to California Life and Fire so we can checkpoint there. Okay. Good idea. <laughs> and oh, yeah, so God. the only reason he started in this bullshit is because it's he got slighted or story. felt slighted. Yeah, uh, egos. I really don't like him at all. We have plenty of reason not to. Not just the least of it's that he's the part in part of a massive fraud that has gotten many people killed already. Okay, has to save. Save I can. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Running towards the end of the game, so things are going to be speeding up. But, yeah. For now, we will have to step away and go look for someone to raid. So, let's head on over here. And close down the preview. And change the screen share over to the browser. And let's have a look. Okay. <clears throat> uh, good amount of people online. But, okay. I think Dr. Misunderstood literally does stream on every day that we do, or perhaps even every every day of the week from the looks of it, because they're online with Yakuza Like a Dragon. Then we have the Sleeping Foxy and Nico Sofrado who are both doing art streams. The Digital Hazard is online again with uh, Front Mission 3. Can't say I've heard about that. Uh, Let's take a little preview of that. <clears throat> Theory Pop and three others are playing Lethal Company. Uh, Frog, yeah, Frog Cass is playing Deus Ex. I'm a Flanker is playing Mordhau. Sloop Tube with Slime Ranger 2. <coughs> Pardon? Which we should, we really should continue on again at some point. Uh, Kikoskia is playing Shadows of Doubt. Halloween is playing Indigo Prophecy. AKA Fahrenheit. And. Okay, that's the people in our typical range. Though I do see that Roko is playing Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, any suggestions? Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm just tired right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, just thank you for being here, anyways, uh, Rom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night, and see you guys later.
See you next Sleep time. Sleep well, Rob. Mm. Okay. Uh, any suggestions or shall I pick? Uh, I guess Digital Hazard. Okay, it has been a while since we've seen them online, I think. So, copy. Also, over I, mean, I, 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 I want to apologize for raising my voice earlier for... That guy actually was about to make me p get really pissed off. For he actually went on my nerve. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the game yeah. character, when I said, don't boy, don't, oh boy, also, when I heard I said, he actually struck a nerve with me there. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like we should have been able to shoot him on the spot there. If not in the head, then in the groin. Uh, more, I would probably just handcuff him there and drag him to the police station. Yeah, but the problem is that the police are in on, or at least the, the high people up in the police are in on the whole scheme. So they would have just arrested uh, Kelso instead. <clears throat> uh, annoying. More and more uh, easy yeah. for me, almost getting pissed off. But yeah, for now though, uh, yeah. Before we go raid, let's thank everyone who is here, or who was here. Uh, thank you, Pizza Lover and Tatum, for <laughs> being around and chatting along a bit. And let's see, I'm not seeing any, <laughs> I'm not seeing any of our typical lurkers. So yeah, thank you again to Rom, and thank you as always to Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. All lurking. Wait, that's yeah. It was the same thing, ain't it? Yeah. And let's see, tomorrow... Uh, I think tomorrow we should be able to finish with Dawn of War 2 Retribution. If not, it'll spill over onto Thursday. And if we do manage to finish, then we'll move on to the first of the Sonic games that we'll be playing, Sonic Adventure. Not Sonic Adventure DX, but actual Sonic Adventure Dreamcast Edition. Alright. Yeah, because with that game, apparently every version that came after uh, just added in more and more bugs. So yeah, I was first thinking about doing the DX version, but when I just saw just the big-ass differences, uh, yeah, it had to be the Dreamcast version through an emulator, but still. <clears throat> but yeah, for now though, let's start up that raid, and yeah. Thank you all again for watching. An hour late. Thank you every again, everyone who's been watching now or later. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And bent cops, and politicians just in general. Uh.